Deep Rock Galactic is known to be a game for big men. Oh my god, he's literally me. It's a game for people who want to express their anger healthily, or people who want to get blackout drunk, or people who simply want to become a man by chugging a flagon of beer and stepping into an OSHA compliant mine, just like your dad did. Welcome to Deep Rock Galactic, where gamer boys become gamer men. Oh, bro, what the f bro. No. Uh -huh. Now, there are a couple missions in Deep Rock Galactic, but the main concept of the game is mining. Imagine Minecraft, but instead of crafting or building, it throws those concepts out the window and just made it mining, cracked on 50 milligrams of cocaine and meth. So let me quickly run down everything, rank them, and maybe even sprinkle some jokes and tips in. Also, uh, I might have a couple takes in this video that get me exiled from the community. Speaking of, the first mission, mining. Now this is the simplest mission out of the bunch, but you'll quickly get short-sighted as you look into the endless dark of the cavern, looking for a small glimmer of Asia blue amongst the endless stone. Oh, and did I mention that it's just mining? As fun as this game is, compared to the total BS you can do as part of your job later in the game, this one doesn't really stand out. Just grab some dark morkai and enjoy some pure digging. No advice, just mine. Hey, I found the last bit of morkai. Oh, why am I dying? Um, usually a lack of health. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, I'm gonna die. Honestly, it can get a little boring at times, but it's literally just the middle of the road, so I will give it a 5 out of 10. Nothing to say. Well, someone kicked the bucket. <laughs> Now the next mission is like skipping from season 1 to season 3 because we are, in the wise words of McCrackle's friend, stealing the cave's ovaries. You can see the great beautiful growths on the walls which I lovingly call the British. Now this mission is quite easy but know that you will usually have to go through at least 2 or 4 or 3 or 5 swarms because of a special mechanic of the eggs, that is every 2 ovaries you harvest a swarm appears. Now this can mean a couple things, it can mean 1, speedrunning the mission like a madman, or two, trolling your team. You know what would be funny? You guys know what would be funny? You guys know what would be, be hilarious. hilarious. You know what would be <laughs> hilarious? You know what would be hilarious if I started another swarm? Ah. Uh, my name is Easy. Easy. <laughs> also, make sure you keep Molly near you because if you're on Has 5, yeah, forget about the egg. You're gonna need to put all your efforts on survival. Just get mine. Okay, I'm already in mine. Yeah, may as well pop two. Um. Wait, okay. it's above me. I'm actually quite a. Okay. I'm in Okay, I've deposited my. Oh my god, wait, what's happening? Yeah, I'm here with you. I'm here with you. You're oh, good. Okay. Let's up. Now, this is fun, but honestly, after the Easter event, I've been traumatized from this mission because it gets repetitive pretty quickly. So, I will say this is a 6 out of 5. Maybe even a seven on a good day. Yeah. A oh, yeah. custom, I think I got a new oh, pistol. Let's go. I are you a scout? Because if you are, you will love this mission. And if you're not, you'll probably still like this mission. Especially if you got the best boy Bosco around, because he will carry your sorry ass if you decide to pick Gunner, slowly going up a zipline like a grandmother. I would say that this is like taking your groceries out of your car and into a house, except with more steps. Your goal is still simple, get heavy item from point A to point B, but instead of chips and frozen lasagna and shit, you're trying to get gems. And instead of taking it from your car to your apartment, you have to take it across a fucking cave. The reason scouts are good in this mission is because of bullshit like this. I mean, how are you supposed to get there? Grow wings? You better grow wings fast because you're gonna need them when you break your goddamn leg spine not to mention the bugs, oh my god, you better be the true blue Aussie because the amount of bugs that are trying to eat your ass as you carry a stone is stupid. That being said, the game mode's great, the caves are very very pretty and I suggest you learn it because there are little tunnels that often hide the last one or two quarks, which I call clown tunnels. Usually, this is what makes your mission go from 5 minutes to 30 minutes. Not to mention that they are very effective choke points, but not for you, no, for thousands and thousands of bugs. Now when you carry these things, you can't shoot or run or fit anywhere. You want to use the grappling hook? Too bad, you're being crammed by bugs. You can shoot them away, but there's a gem in your hand. And if you drop it, well, I can promise you it's going to roll down and you're never going to see it again. What I'm trying to say is let your teammate or boss go hold the gem while you, the adrenaline junkie you are, 
shoot everything. What non Gundam style? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the come white game. Let's go. Let's okay, go. Grab your beard. And soon the game becomes a tower defense. Honestly, I think this clip says it all. Yeah, that's We're really rich. good. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. <laughs> so yeah, 8 out of 10, maybe even 8.5 out of 10, because the skill ceiling is also really high, and honestly, it's kind of just a blast to play it. Unless you're in hollow battle, then you want to get the hell out of there. Are you a driller? Or maybe even a certified skater boy? Well, this mode is for you. You drop and immediately become a red-blooded American. Why? Well, because you are supposed to harvest oil. I mean, liquid morkite from the ground. Now, the mission is separated into two categories, a damn good time or a pain in the ass. Simply put, you are sent to connect pipes to three different pools of oil and then suck. suck. All of it up. I think most of us have gotten an on site refinery mission that has taken us 50 years because of the pools of Morkai. See, you don't get to control where they spawn, which means that sometimes they spawn super close by and sometimes they spawn on the opposite side of the map, 50 meters above you. Why I say that Driller is the best? Well, as Archimedes said, the fastest way to get from one point to another is a straight line. And for all the men worried about sticking their pipes through sharp cave walls, don't worry, it's plated in unbreakable steel. Foreshadowing is a narrative device in which suggestions or warnings about events to come are dropped or planted. Sometimes also, you know your satchel charge, or C4 as I call it? Well, it turns out it's actually not just for killing your teammates. Are still what? Explosives. But also bugs, and especially on this mission. See, after connecting the pipes, you start an extraction where you wait for this bar to fill up all the way. You might be wondering, what connects with killing bugs? Well, here comes the twist. Every once in a while, your pipes will shit themselves and it will be up to you to fix them and continue the extraction. But there's a fun quirk that comes with this. The bugs crowd together. It's almost like that they are asking for this. One very important thing though, because this is something that almost every single new player and viewer forgets. Remember that you should always use the power attack because let me tell you, Every hit you do with that feels really, really good. And if you're not a drill or an NG, you're going to need to hit it. Just like how you can hit the subscribe button. Okay, I'll keep this very quick, but recording videos and editing takes a lot of time and effort. And to be honest with you, a single click makes me very, very happy. Plus, I'm a new creator and you can brag that you helped me grow. I honestly think that this is one of the best game modes in the game because it's really just a blast and skating around on those pipes never gets old. And because I'm a driller main, I know I'm biased, but I'm gonna say it's an 8 out of 10. Are you a gunner? Or maybe you're a professional true blue Aussie. Like my friend says, This is a training simulator for us. Kind of like Vaxies. You gotta be efficient at exterminating spiders and other stuff. It's better to train with small ones before you get to the real deal. Now I know what you're thinking, Australians can't use guns, and to that I have to say that guns are acquired if you're planning to use them for hunting. And let me tell you, we are going to be using them for hunting. Let's get it, let's get its ass. Yes, DPS, DPS. Oh, okay, I was about to get So if you can't tell from the name of this mission, elimination, well you just need to kill things. But instead of small fryer, you're in it for the big stuff. In caves, there are two ovaries, but they're too big to be harvested. Instead, you're gonna have to get, okay, wait, I'll, I'll just give this to you flat. You have to go to eggs scattered around the map and kill the big boys that are inside them. Now, there are three types of big boys. A default dreadnought, which is actually the hardest in my opinion. It has this big fuck you attack and it even removes all of your health bar or makes you scuttle away like a little pussy. Fucking die! Oh. Fucking oh, thank die! thank god! Die, bitch! Jesus, <laughs> how is that harder than the other one? I thought he was the easy boss. Secondly, there are the twins, which are not that hard, more just a pain in the ass because these guys will not die. Simply put, they not only dive into the ground every other second, but can also heal back their health really, really often. The only way to consistently do a bunch of damage to them is to get your driller and freeze their ass and drill them out 
as you're gonna shoot at them. Obviously, you can also use other classes with good DPS. I mean, I've run a scout with embedded detonators and those things shred health. Lastly is the hive mind, which I think is actually the easiest because every phase he summons his minions, which you can kill before you absolutely destroy his health bar and he doesn't do that much damage. Honestly, my only advice is to not get too cocky. Get an accuracy M1000 dwarf to smite his armor and grab aggro and let your DPS do all the work. Honestly, Grab some friends, and this is actually just dumb fun. I would say that this is an 8 out of 10. Also, I know that this gets repetitive sometimes, but you know, I'm about to have a much worse take than this, so yeah. Are you an engineer? Now, apart from TF2, I think that this game has the best engineer, and what mission to complement this class than the one where you have to sit in one spot not once, but twice. Salvage mission requires you to clean up the remains of a dwarf squad that had a severe skill issue. You have to find three bots and attach legs to all of them, which is pretty easy. The hard part is the uplink and the refueling. This is where the engineer comes in clutch. All you need to do is put your turrets down and relax. Now, even though I don't have much to say on this mission, this is really, really fun. And sometimes the uplink and the triangulation gets really stressful and trust me bugs like bolt detonators make this mission so much more interesting so i will actually be giving this mission a 7 out of 10 because it's a little too long for my liking and also because you can't control uplink time speaking of not being able to control the time your mission takes and also about bulk detonators let me introduce you to the escort mission because it is now time to assemble your team and in case you're wondering escort mission is simply put an escort mission now, when I first played this, and maybe even a couple attempts after I played this, I really, really liked this mission, and it felt dramatic, and the climax was very, very cool, and then it quickly wore off. Now, this changes when you play with a team, for the most part. Driller and Gunner do the DPS, especially with Cryo Driller, and the NG and Scout are support, sentries and light, respectively, which is actually quite a blast, but it should be noted that this also quickly wears off. Now, the main reason for this is because you can't control the pace. The only thing you can control is the refueling process, which is arguably the worst part of the mission in my honest opinion. The boss fight can be fun, but the, compared to the other two, it's nothing special and honestly, if it wasn't for the massive SP reward at the end, no one would play this. But when you get some boys into a VC and pull off some stupid ass moves or clutches, well this goes from a 6 out of 10 to a straight. 8. But yeah, 5 to 6 out of 10, that's that, that's something rare, it, it usually doesn't happen, but you know, I, I understand the complaints of this mission. Um, but, but here's my take. It's time to not only become the team, but to master it. There's no other way to describe industrial sabotage than the result of all of your training. You need a scout for recon and nitra, a driller for terraforming, the engineer for holding down points, and a gunner for... Well, well, the gunner's... It's for the big fucking scary piece of geometry firing lasers at you and oh my god that arm is coming right in. But that's not the real danger because the real danger is the slowly ticking clock counting down the time you have left in this world. Because this mission takes forever. <laughs> This is the same problem as the escort mission, but instead of taking 30 minutes because the game forces you to take 30 minutes, you're taking 30 minutes because you are avidly bad at the game and also because of hacking pods. Now, this mission is separated into three main bits. The first and second bits are hacking pods and the third is the boss. The hacking pods are very, very fun. Well, actually, no, let me specify. The hacking pod is very fun because the second hacking pod is not very fun. I think with two hacking pods, this might, you know, be a little tedious. Now, everyone has a role in this mission, with the scout finding and lighting up the location of the cave, the driller drilling and terraforming, and the gunner gunning, and the engineer using his sentries, as already mentioned. But the problem with this is that you do it twice, and trust me, it's not that fun. Like, I understand what they were going for, like going into a point, shooting out sniper turrets and other turrets and, and shield things, and you know, all of that's fine and dandy, but uh, honestly, I think one is enough, and, and two is a bit, you know, overkill. After this, you move on to the boss, which I actually think is kind of a blast. Now, granted, it's far less dynamic and versatile than the elimination mission bosses, but it's always a climactic way to end a mission. A mission that took 30 minutes for less reward than a 20 minute escort mission. Yeah, so this mission basically gets ruined by escort. 
you would never play this over Escort if you're trying to play it for its intended reason. Because if you wanted the EXP and credits that Escort gave you, then why wouldn't you play Escort instead? This gives you less rewards, and I understand what this was for, but it's like... It's just not worth it. But to be fair, this is the mission that I have the most opinions on because this is so contentious in the community. And obviously, I have to say that I really, really enjoy this mission. The hours you're talking at now? In my opinion, this is the ultimate proof of teamwork in a normal mission that you can play anytime you want. So I think that this mission, in my heart, is actually a 10 out of Thank you for making it to the end of this video. Before you leave, I have to say, if you're wondering, hey, why isn't this mission on this, or why isn't this mission on it, uh, it's it's because they weren't added at the time of recording this mission. I I, I, I know, like, I, I know, like, uh, season four is about to come out, or at least it is when I'm editing this, but, um, I, look, if, if it happens, I go into the description or something, because I will have a video on that season, and I will talk about it, uh, in case you want my opinions over someone else's opinion, which I don't know why you would do that. Now, uh, I would like to ask for you to like and subscribe and comment, because all those things really help out the algorithm. Like I've said, I'm a really, really small creator, and if you could help me, you know, uh, get, get, like, get kind of big, uh, I, I would really, really appreciate that, and you can honestly brag that you were here from the very beginning, you know, you could be an OG before, I mean, hopefully I blow up, I don't fucking know. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.